Hello, hello. This is Instructor Carlo. Hi. Today we're just going to do some freestyle. Uh, I know I've been doing the Freestyle Fridays here over the last two weeks. We've had to move some things around. Uh, but today we're going to focus and just recap on the moves that we've learned and then just to, uh, try to apply them and use this small set of skills that we have and try to master them slowly, day by day. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just start with a stretch. And, you know, one thing that I want to emphasize is that we're using a bag here or a punching stand or whatever you may be utilizing in order to practice your martial arts. Uh, you know, it's not the end all be all. Okay. It's not going to like the famous saying from Sifu, Bruce, Sifu Bruce's um, movie, Enter the Dragon, boards do not hit back. And so even myself, as I'm practicing, I'm utilizing past experiences and things like that in order to, uh, to effectively train, okay? One other aspect I want to point out though is that you can still use the bag to master lots of different movements, master your jab, or uh, I like punching in one place and then replacing the, the fist, working on your accuracy. Uh, there's many things you can do, right? And, and really it comes down to mastering yourself first, and then you go put that to the test. And I said this before, I've said this uh, plenty of times, okay? I don't care if I win or lose. I do care if I win, right? But if I lose, I'm coming back the next day even stronger, okay? That's, that does not phase me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Do a little bit of a light stretch for the quads. If you're tightening the hips, it's okay. There's different phases. All right, your heel should have been, should be able to touch your glutes. That's how you can tell if you're reaching the flexibility that you need when you're doing this quad stretch. Once again, your heel should be able to touch your, your glute. If it doesn't, it's okay. Just keep working on it. Keep breathing and eventually you will get there, okay? And so I just wanna review once again, it, there's different ways to practice the kicks. Uh, the kicks that we review here and the kicks that I teach, they're primarily wushu kicks. And what I've done is I've adapted the wushu kicks in order to be more effective in any kind of self-defense situation, okay? And, and it really that's what it comes down to is adaptability and also, it's just a matter of putting things to use, right? <clears throat> if, you know, I've, I've seen certain movements that I think are effective. I don't know if they'll work or not, okay? But I think they're effective and therefore I will try it out on the bag and I will try it out in sparring and see if it works or not, okay? And I've done this with, with practically all the moves, right? That's why I teach them, <laughs> right? So. You know, it's really the idea of if you think something works, go ahead, try it out, right? Or if, it, if someone says it's for aesthetics, I may see a potential movement in that. And so what you want to do is just practice. Does it have uh, any kind of practicality? Maybe you have to change it because a lot of, um, you know, aesthetics and martial arts has always been an issue, right? <laughs> you know, um, but, you know, with that, it's, it's, it's an art. Right? You're, it's, you're so good at your art that you make it look great. Okay, get where I'm coming from. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna warm up with a couple punches here. And let's just do like five, uh, five punches each arm, each leg, uh, five kicks, things like that. One, two, three, four, five, two, four, five. Now the purpose of this is just to warm up, okay? Now, as you're working on techniques, things like that, you can improve. Okay, it's not a chance to say, look at your technique and, you know, um, so we're just warming up here, right? I think even as martial artists, we need to, you know, be able to take in a, the information Use what's useful and discard what's not, especially when you're online, right? There's gonna be lots of different comments and opinions and different things. You just have to get used to it. Okay, 
So we've learned a couple different strikes. We've learned, <clears throat> we have our basic punches, our copper cuts, back fist hammer strikes. Now, even here, I will say doing this, this movement on the bag is a little bit different. I mean, it's different hitting something like this where it's higher up. And then let's say you got someone, uh, no, your opponent's arm and you're coming down or you're just striking someone as so. So you need to adjust, right? This, this isn't, once again, it's not gonna work for every situation, but this is why we're doing this. So you can adjust, right? It's not the bag that needs to adjust, you need to adjust, okay? That was a low blow. <laughs> Same boxing, you can go there. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and take a quick break. Okay. Grab some water. Let's go again. Right. Utilizing our different strikes, utilizing our poses, utilizing our stance. Let's go. We want to slow up the pace, get back into our posture. Awesome. Take a week break. Awesome. Awesome. Glad you're with us today. A couple things I want to point out. Uh, one, it's always, this is the reason we do it. Is one, you're always practicing, right? I'm all about being active. I'm not sitting on the side. I'm not commenting. I'm not, I'm in here with, in the grind with you. Okay. <clears throat> As an instructor, I've always been that way. Um, I feel martial arts is a unique sport because the instructor always has to be 
uh, in good shape, right? And ready to, to fight, right? And ready to demonstrate, right? And so shape can mean anything to a lot of different people, but you need to be able to uh, lead the class, right? As a leader, uh, whether you're young or old, okay? So <clears throat> with that, I'm in the cut with y'all. Uh, part of it is I also notice I may not be utilizing certain movements as well. I want to say that's why we're here today, so we can practice uh, implementing these movements, right? It's like the saying of it's better to master one movement than a thousand, right? Or even 10, right? 20, whatever. Whatever the number may be, but if it, you know, if you have five movements and, you know, you, all you can remember is this, we just need to practice more. Develop combos, learn how to apply the movement. For instance, using you call number one, you might find it's better to lead in with a couple jabs, a rear, um, it's better to start off with punching and striking and then implement the strike when you see the opportunity. That's a-okay. You know, um, so how do we apply this? And then how do you learn, right? Because that's the other thing too. Everybody's gonna, once everybody knows, then it's kind of like, okay, you gotta come up with a new way of applying it, right? So that's what we're always doing. Coming up with new ways to apply, which everyone knows, and then coming up with a couple secret ways that you know, right? It's, it works both ways, right? <laughs> so let's mix it up. Okay, again. Inside kicks, outside kicks, straight kicks. We're gonna work them all today, okay? My right leg was messed up, and he only had the left. Right? Throwing from the front leg. That was a mental stop, right? Mentality is just as important. Meaning, I had some thoughts popping into my head. I'm thinking, 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 I'm losing focus. That's where the Tai Chi comes in. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to call it for the evening here. All right. So I just wanted to focus on just getting the movement. I just wanted to focus on getting movements down today. Had a great sparring session recorded yesterday, bag, and just didn't come out well. And so that's actually one of the benefits of making these videos is we have to do recuts or retakes. It's just more working out, right? more exercise. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and I wish you all a good week. Feel free to record uh, to review everything we've learned. Uh, and on a side note, I want to also point out, you know, I am providing these videos for instructional purposes, so it helps you in your journey. These videos are not meant to replace actual training, live training. Okay, just like a. Uh, Give Jaspreet a shout out here. One of my favorite YouTubers, uh, which runs a, a channel called Minority Mindset. Right? He always says, you know, don't listen to some random guy on YouTube. You know, you can trust but verify, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, you can, you know, don't even trust, right? It's verify. Go ahead. Verify. I am 100% for that. And if it fits into what your training regimen is, and you find it uh, find validity i am more than 100 percent ecstatic and if you find that it doesn't fit into your regimen regimen you find like maybe what i'm, I'm doing is better for me that's 100 percent as well okay because you've at least tried something and you said you know what you know maybe the way i do it i like it or the way i've been taught i like it you know i can see the principle and things like that that's okay too What's not okay is just making assumptions, taking cheap shots, you know, looking at someone, and then here comes the jokes, right? Especially on this channel, right? I can, and I'll break down exactly, <clears throat> you know, how the comments went, and, and I anticipated it all. This is great, right? Because I know what's coming. And last, I'm gonna leave you with this. Assumptions uh, can ruin you, okay? They can misguide you, don't, even myself. Try not to lead with assumptions. When you assume something and it's wrong, you end up going this way instead of this way. Okay, assumptions lead you off. Okay, I wish you a great day, a great evening, and have a very powerful week.